All right, so you managed to land that PHP interview. Congrats. But now, of course, comes the really nerve-wracking part, mm. the actual interview. Yeah. But luckily for you, today we are diving deep into this YouTube video titled um, PHP Interview Questions and Answers, Suitable for All PHP Job Roles Worldwide. Oh, wow. It sounds very uh, promising, like it's the holy grail of PHP interview prep. Right. So let's see if it lives up to the hype, and more importantly, if it can help you stand out from the crowd. Well, it's true. I mean, no single video is going to be able to cover like every single question an interviewer might ask you. Of course, of course. But this one, I have to say, does a really good job of highlighting some of those really universal concepts that you can basically guarantee are going to impress in a PHP interview, no matter where you are in the world. Okay, so what what kind of hidden gems did we unearth in this video? Because I have to admit, when I first saw the title, it seemed um, maybe a little too good to be true. You and me both. <laughs> but let's start at the beginning. So the video jumps right into prepared statements and SQL injection. Okay. So they're talking about security right out of the gate. It's like the video saying, like, let's see how serious you are about security from the get-go. Exactly. Yeah. And... It's a really smart move for anyone going into an interview. Like instead of just listing security as like a general concern, imagine being able to demonstrate your knowledge of prepared statements and how they prevent SQL injection. Right. It shows the interviewer that you're thinking proactively about protecting user data. Yeah, for sure. It's like the difference between saying, yeah, security is important and actually showing that you know how to implement it. Spot on. And the example the expert uses about a content management system okay. is something that a lot of PHP developers are going to encounter in the real world. Right. You know, it makes the information relatable and shows you understand the practical implications of security vulnerabilities. So it's not just theoretical knowledge. It's about applying it to, like, those real-world scenarios. Exactly. And that's a key theme that we see throughout this video connecting these technical concepts to real world applications, which is so crucial for making a good impression in an interview. For sure. So we've tackled security. What's next on the list of like interview must knows? Well, the source really emphasizes connecting to a MySQL database. They call it fundamental. Okay. And they contrast those two popular methods, MySQLy and PDO. Right. And these can be a bit confusing if you're new to this. Yeah, I've heard those terms thrown around, but I'll be honest, I'm not always sure, like, which one to use when. Right. And, and that's the thing, right? Yeah. Knowing those trade-offs between these two is exactly what will make you shine in an interview. So, you know, MySQL, that's great for speed. Okay. But then if they start asking you about a larger, more complex project, right. that's your chance to mention PDO. Okay shows you understand the need for scalability, and you can kind of adapt your approach based on what the project needs. So it's almost like having that insider knowledge, like you're thinking beyond just the immediate task at hand. Precisely. Yeah. It demonstrates a deeper understanding of how your code fits into like the bigger picture of the project. You know, it tells the interviewer, you're not just writing code, you're building solutions. All right, I'm taking notes here. This is gold. So we've covered security, Databases. What else does this PHP interview treasure map reveal? Well, it wouldn't be a complete PHP interview prep without the classic GET versus PUEST question. Oh, yes. Oh, I've stumbled through explaining that one so many times. Oh, tell me about it. It seems so simple until you have to explain it. Right. But this video nails it. They use this booking system example to illustrate the difference, and it just clicks. Get D for fetching data, like if you're searching for available time slots. Okay. Which makes sense because it's visible in the URL, great for bookmarking. Makes sense. And then POST. Ah, POST is for sending sensitive data, like say your credit card information, because uh, it's more secure. Right. <laughs> oh. That booking system example is genius. I wish I had that like in my back pocket when I was first learning all of this stuff. It finally makes it stick. You see, these are the nuggets of wisdom that make this video so valuable. Yeah. It's not just about memorizing answers. It's about understanding the underlying concepts and then being able to like articulate them clearly. Okay, I'm sold on this video. So far, it's given us some really, really great insights into how to ace those interview questions. We're not done yet, are we? There's more to unpack in this PHP interview prep kit. You bet there is. Okay. And this is where things get really interesting, because now we're going headfirst into the world of object-oriented programming. Oh, oh, man, OP used to make me want to, like, run for the hills. Yeah. But the way that this expert breaks down inheritance, it's like 
a light bulb went off for me. It's true. OOP can seem really intimidating at first, but it's become so central to PHP, especially when interviewers start grilling you on design and scalability. Yeah. And this video doesn't shy away from that connection, which is great. So, like, what's the main takeaway for somebody who's maybe not an OOP master, but wants to at least sound impressive in an interview? Well, what's great is that the expert pulls out the most important OOP concepts for interviews. Okay. Things like inheritance and polymorphism. Right. And explains them in a way that just clicks. Like, you don't need to be drowning in jargon to talk about these ideas intelligently. Yeah, it's all about just demonstrating that you grasp like those fundamentals and that you're eager to learn more speaking of um showcasing real world experience the videos section on gt versus post does such a fantastic job of that i thought right but before we move on from that i kind of wanted to circle back to the topic of security yeah it seems like it's a recurring theme in this video and rightfully so they um the expert dives deep into securing PHP applications using a project example, and it's all focused on protecting user data, which I thought was really interesting. Okay, yeah, walk me through it. So, like, what kind of security measures are we talking about here? So they cover a lot of ground, which is impressive. They talk about input validation and sanitization, which is essentially checking all the data that comes into your application. Okay. You got to make sure it's what you're expecting and that you're cleaning it up to prevent any malicious code from, like, sneaking in so it's like a bouncer at a club you've got to make sure that only the right kind of data is getting through the door exactly i like that and then they move on to prepared statements right which we talked about earlier yes remember those are your first line of defense against those nasty sql injection attacks right those are crucial absolutely and to top it all off they even mention content security policy okay or csp which always sounds way more intimidating than it actually is csp that one rings a bell but i'll admit i'm a little fuzzy on like all of the details don't worry you're not alone it's a more advanced topic but yeah. essentially it's like setting up another security guard for your application okay this time at the browser level got it so csp helps control what resources the browser is allowed to load which can prevent cross-site scripting attacks. Okay, so it makes sense. It's kind of like layering your security measures then. Precisely. It's not a one-and-done situation. It's about having multiple lines of defense. The key takeaway here is that this video really emphasizes this multifaceted approach to security. Right. It's not about knowing one technique. It's about understanding how all these different techniques work together to protect your application, and more importantly, that user data. So it sounds like this video is going above and beyond, like just giving you the answers. It's teaching you how to think like a security conscious developer. Yeah. Which is arguably even more valuable in an interview setting. 100%. It's one thing to parrot back memorized answers, but it's another to actually demonstrate that you understand the why, the reasoning behind those best practices. For sure. You know, it shows you're not just going through the motions, that you're genuinely invested in writing secure and reliable code. So what I'm hearing is, like, this video is a gold mine of information. It's not just giving you the fish, it's teaching you how to fish. Exactly. Right. It's giving you the tools and the knowledge to tackle, like, whatever an interviewer throws at you. Speaking of which, we still have that rapid fire round at the end of this mm -hmm. video to yep. get through, which is just a whole bunch more of these questions that you need to be ready for. So it's like a boss level challenge at the end of a video game. Exactly. It's a rapid fire round of additional questions that you might encounter in an interview. Okay. And while we don't have time to go through every single one, there's a common thread that I think is really important for you to know. Okay. Lay it on me. Yeah. What do I need to know to conquer this boss level? So a lot of these questions revolve around handling form data. Okay. It might seem basic, but interviewers love to see if you're thinking about security, even when it comes to, you know, the seemingly simple stuff. That makes sense. Form data is often like the entry point for a lot of attacks, right? Exactly. And this is where this video, I think, really shines. Okay. The expert gives this incredible tip about using PHP's filter of our function to validate form data. Okay. It's like they're handing you the keys to the kingdom. Okay, hold on. Filter var, that rings a bell. Yeah. But I could definitely use a refresher. Yeah, it's one of those PHP functions that's like easy to overlook, but it's a lifesaver when it comes to security. Okay. Basically, it lets you sanitize data and make sure that it matches the expected format 
Okay. So like if you're asking for an email address, right. FilterVar can make sure that it actually looks like an email address and not some, you know, malicious code injection attempt. So it's like having a really, really good spam filter for your code. Precisely. I like it. And mentioning that in an interview shows, you know, you're not just going through the motions, you're actively thinking about ways to make your code more robust and secure. Right. It's those little details that can really make you stand out. Exactly. Awesome. Well, what I'm hearing is this video isn't just about giving you a bunch of answers to memorize. Right. It's about giving you the tools and the knowledge to really impress, like, wow, any interviewer. Absolutely. And I think that's what makes it such a valuable resource for anyone prepping for a PHP interview. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's given us that practical security advice, those insights into database choices, a way to remember Jenny T versus posts. It's like having a secret weapon for your interview. Exactly. This video gives you that solid foundation for tackling those PHP interviews. Right. But it really is just the beginning of your journey. Of course, of course. Keep learning, keep experimenting, keep exploring this ever-evolving world of PHP. And who knows, maybe you'll discover a few hidden gems of your own along the way. Well, thanks for taking this deep dive with us, and best of luck in your PHP interview. I think you got this. You got this.